subject manager Neil Lennon to be replaced. It's been a quiet week for Neil Lennon at Lennox Town. So many players away at international duty. Obviously, they're getting his team ready for Hearts next week. Going to take us along BT Sport 2. And then the Champions League match away to AC Milan. Oh, a few times. Tommy Johnson. Lily as well. to say, Peter, that he's rather popular with the female fans in attendance today. I thought that was for Tommy Johnson. I saw the Tommy in the Tommy. Sorry, Tommy. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Listen, this will be a case you'll be very nervous with coming here in front of these supporters. That's it with the corner. Well, they break it rather. It's got behind for the corner. Neil Lennon is with Ray Stubbs. Neil, how are you feeling after that? All right, I'm good. You know, catches will be a wee bit, you know, the younger boys are, you know, you hear how quick and sharp they are, but some of the boys still have the old touches, like it's great, it's good fun, and I mean, the reception stand up was unbelievable, but the turnout's fantastic, and we've got to pay tribute to the players that have come, you know, like John Terry and Curtis Queller, and players are still playing, it's a fantastic gesture on their behalf. You're looking in good shape, you used the ball really well. I'm getting a bit of stick, you know, in the dressing room, but I feel alright, I've been running quite a bit. I've lost a bit of weight the last month, I'm trying to, I'm going to do the half marathon in Glasgow, so I'm trying to do a wee bit for that. Hey, Fobo Baldo does know the meaning of friend. I know, yeah, I'm oh, sorry for all my parents. Since not going to be Glasgow. Did you see them look on Berber? See look on Berber, I was facing the other side. I'll stay away from that one, like, you know, no, it's funny. Well, I'm a just wonder what happened when he clattered into it. I know, he thought he was up here for a good time. <laughs> The, the reaction, the reception, and everything about today is inspirational for an inspirational figure. Yeah, I mean, he was a great player. You know, let's not forget that first and foremost. And, you know, we are human beings at the end of the day, and we do suffer along the way, you know, some more than others. Unfortunately for Stillian, he had a career end in illness, but, you know, the fighter that he is, he's doing so much work away from, from the sport to promote the... You know, raising money for it, and this is, you know, this is his sort of Nadir, as it were. You know, this is his Nirvana. It's a great day. As a manager, boots under the foot now. What's Martin O'Neill said to you? Is he going to have words with you? Yeah, I'm sure he is. Yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to see him. You know, it's nice to see him do so well. Funny, yeah, like you know, when we all got together again last night. It was as if it was just today we had all met up. It was just a great camaraderie between us all over the years, and you know we played in some special games. Wow, wow, wow! He not be invited back. That's it. You never lose a day, hey. Oh, it's class. Hey, these One Direction boys, they get a bit of response, don't they? Hang on. Well said. Yeah, I mean, it took me an hour and a half getting into there, and I think it was just all young girls and older girls, you know, looking to see some of the young guys, you know. But uh, it's a bit of a player, believe it or not. You know, so I think JP's got his eye on. Okay, nice to you. Well, John Terry was the player who fired at that shot from miles out. It was from Rutherglen. Oh, fantastic effort. You know, as you say, you can't hide that quality. You know, and what an effort it was. I can make it glad to see it at the post. And the screaming that you heard was for, you guessed it, this fella. <laughs> one D, one direction. They wasn't getting much support for Chris Sutton when he gave him a bad ball where Chris gave him the eyes. There's Baba. Barbatov! Superb! Critical from Dimitar Barbatov. And it's a two goal cushion now for the Stillian 11. Fantastic movement, fantastic pass. You see, they've got that quality. Thomas' pass was excellent. We kept the top just on the back end of it. Trying out to get back there. There you go. Position one direction. So, uh, I think they'll be getting a bit of stick at half time. Wrong direction, I think. That is looking promising for Mrs. Douglas and McGrain. You wouldn't know that. No, you wouldn't, would you? No. <laughs> Masters of the poker face. Better. Clumsy by. Christoph to the back of Sutton. Oh, 
Stylian Petrov watching now from the bench. Another look at the John Terry shots in a second or two. It was extraordinary. Off the post. Where that Ram Douglas was off his line. Here's Maracic! Shea Gibbon did well. Petter. Handed away by Barry. Perez. Lambert. Barry showing for it. And the ball straight to Bobby Petter. Tommy Johnson in the Celtic side now. Pires again. Robert off. Split open the hoops defence. Get used to this. Larson. It's a fine work by Sutton. Johnson. And given there to field it. Deftly. Popular figure in the dressing room, Tommy Johnson. He seemed to have a smile on his face. Yeah, and he was a good player. He was an underrated player. He worked really, really hard on the front line when he played up here for Celtic. Maybe never get the credit he deserved. Jackie McNamara. Johan Mialbi. Patrolling the edge of the penalty area. Quick reminder it's Macedonia against Scotland. BT Sport 1 on Tuesday. Our coverage with Daryl Curry begins at 7. And looking forward to Manchester United against Crystal Palace in the Barclays Premier League. That's BT Sport 1 six days from now from 11.30 in the morning. Also next Saturday, Hearts against Celtic in the Scottish Premiership. BT Sport 2 from midday. Here's Barry. Ram Douglas doing just enough. Yes, it was. Barry done really, really well. Everybody else running, he stayed out. Good ball with Berbatov picking him out. That quality he's got. Gareth tried to give the ice to Big Rab. Here it comes to Martin Petrov. Oh, now this could be interesting. Tony was trying to tee it up. It's away by Balde. Martin Petrov. Dimitar Berbatov with the rescue. Well, let's have a look again at John Terry's shot from a few minutes ago. This is from a different postcode. Yeah, fantastic effort. You see Big Rab, Rab thinks it's in. Thank God he's in. <laughs> Especially with all these players up there, they didn't give them a little stick, that's for sure. One that John Terry would have put on his mobile phone had it gone in for posterity. 100%, especially the stick he's been getting. <laughs> Bauma. Quayar from the back. Bay. of it. You know, but Hoydon might be one of the players to feature the second half, likewise, George Cadet. Yeah, fantastic pair in there where we played together, uh, great players, uh, very good individual players, but team players as well, and as I say, it was just a pity we weren't winning those trophies that they were, they'd be legends at this club as well. players, genuine characters, Jimmy Redknapp waiting for his turn, it's Bobby Petter for the Celtic 11, close shave at the end of his first half. A good effort, great run with Bobby, he's kept away there, Harvey Baez got back to him, put him under a little bit of pressure, he just lifted it too high over the bar. Jackie McNamara. Partick 
official manager in charge of Dundee United. It's easy to make for John Terry. He's a bit disappointed with himself. Lee Tomlinson. Half time at Celtic Park. Stylian Petrov's big day. And Dimitar Berbatov, his compatriot, scoring not once but twice in the first half. All three goals for the Stylian 11 from Bulgarian players. Martin Petrov also on target. Henrik Larsson from the spot. And so at the interval, it is the Celtic 11 1, the Stillian 11 3. Henry Tomlinson of one direction. I wonder if John Terry would reappear. At the start of the second half, he is going to watch from the bench the rest of the way. So Chris Kamara there. And he was unlucky, wasn't he? Thinking back to the shot from inside his own half. He came back from the post in the first half with Grant Douglas comprehensively beaten. Yes, he was. It's great that John's come up and taken his time out to do it. And as you say, he's very much appreciated by Stillian and the boys went about it. They've done very well, John, and played the game the right way. They've been in a different track. They've been very awesome moving about. They work their way through the changes. As the second half progresses, Josh McKinley, one of the players on for the Celtic eleven. See Tom Boyd out there, Brian McClare, Martin Veghorse. Quality player working at Swansea now and doing a very good job there along with Michael Loudrup. Gabby Agbonlahor and Radistein Kishishev have appeared. Still in the Pierre Van wearing the hoops now in the second half. 43 years of age, sells it between 1995 and 97, so 52 goals and 84 matches for the hoops. Pires still with us. Deciding to stay on the pitch because Bobo Balde has departed the scene, Peter. <laughs> that, I'm sure that's the reason why he's probably been in that dress room at half time. He said, Is he still on? <laughs> Alfred Baba. Thomas was trying to get stuck in. Frank Lapires. Still in 11. He wanted to get on the end of that. Pass by Agbon Lahore. Let's go to Ray Stubbs, who's with Martin O'Neill. Martin, magnificent atmosphere. The reception that Still in got, clearly deserved. Really deserved. He's had a really tough time the last couple of years. I'm just checking to see what's happening to your match. I think, I think there was a goal just chopped off for offside. <laughs> But um, no, he's had a really tough time and uh, he's fought that and he's coming through. He's in remission at this moment and it's great, great news. The turnout here is just unbelievable. I think he's overwhelmed by it. It's been a committed game so far. There's no messing about. There's no, I don't think there's any messing around when you've got Bobo Baldi playing. Bobo doesn't matter what the opposition is, whether, they, whether they've been playing for 20 years or they're just starting in the game. Baldi likes to welcome everyone. And now, towards the end of the game, you've got your secret weapon because you're going to be able to get Stilly and Petrov on the pitch for the Celtic. You're going to get them on for us, yes, it, I mean, that, that's where it, I believe you should have started with us anyway. But, uh, but we've made a few changes now and uh, we've got a couple of actors here. I'd like to see how they play. We've made a few changes, but uh, Petrov's coming back on for us. Thanks for talking to us. Pleasure. Cheers. OK. So we look forward to seeing Stan Petrov playing for the Celtic eleven. Later on, here's Pires for the Stillian 11. Looking for Dimitar Berbatov. Berbatov has scored twice already. Martin Petrov. Only had eyes for goal. It's going to be a calmer second half with Pablo Baldi looking on from the bench now. You would think so. I think, I don't know if he's looking over the lot, don't you? Just, just to give him a look there, I'm not so sure. Agat, Mialbi, now spectators. Neil 
Lennon was replaced earlier. Sutton next to him. It's the back row of the bench. Rydog has taken up his position in the middle here for the Celtic 11. Big Horst. Van Hoydonk. Sonic Larson. Ryan McClare. Director of the Manchester United Academy nowadays. What a wonderful player he was. Ryan McClare. Celtic days as well as at Manchester United. Motherwell before he joined Celtic. Tom Boyd doing the honours at the back. Tom Boyd will soon be taking part in a charity cycle for the Celtic FC Foundation. Parkhead to Carden Den. It's the birthplace of John Thompson, the legendary Celtic goalkeeper who almost lost his life in 1931 to a collision in an old firm game yes and it's great that he's still remembered to this day and that shows you what this club's all about they remember the people from the days gone past and that's proved that today again but John Thompson as you say is a name that's been on for a long, long time on the horn, turning on the Jets little swivel and Gareth Barry gives it a hit yeah, again, you see Deborah Tall's movement there in the box. He had Bondle Horn, he's raging at the fact he never put it across the goal. It's tell him it doesn't mean anything to him, he got a hat trick. Let's hear more, Peter, about John Terry's shot from inside his own half earlier. He's with Ray Stubbs. John, what an effort on goal. No, it, was, uh, it looked in all the way, actually, and just swerved away at the end. But, you know, great day, great turnout from the fans as well for Stan, so a great occasion. So when did that come into your mind to... So I was saying to, to Gaz and, and Robbie Pires early on in, in the game, um, and when Gaz came on, I was saying the keep was way off his line. And that's worth a go, and I see the clock ticking away. I knew I was coming off at half-time, so I thought I'd give it a go. <laughs> Where did your friendship with Stylian Petrov start? It's blossomed, you know, over, you know, obviously we were both captains, and, you know, we, we become friends once he was at Villa and I was at Chelsea. Um, and we've stayed in contact ever since, and, you know, since he's had the illness, we've stayed very close, and it's just, just great for, for him to ask me to, to come and play for it's, uh, it's a privilege to be here today. What do you make of the atmosphere that gets generated inside Chelsea Park? Yeah, it's incredible. We, Chelsea played here one pre-season as well, and it was a, you know, a, an unbelievable atmosphere. And the game the other night as well, when they qualified for the Champions League, was electric. But to be here today, it's, you know, it's a fantastic turnout and just shows what a great player and what a great job we've done for the club. And you know what? No one wants to lose this, make no mistake. No, they don't. Stan said that before the game as well. Listen, you know, we're here for me, but we have to win the game, it's important. Um, and that's what the lads are set out to do, so hopefully we can um, keep, on the, keep on top of the league. John, thanks. No problem. Cheers. There's Gabby Agbon Lahore. Try to whip it towards goal. John Terry Going back to his position. And John Bishop next to him. Honey man, Nicky Byrne. Nice life fame. On the bench as well. The cast of characters will change as the second half moves along. Times though, Peter, it's as though we're watching two different events when Louis Tomlinson touches the ball. <laughs> well, uh, you know where I'm going, it's, uh, <laughs> it's like we're at a concert. And oh, it's off the first hit by Berbatov. And now McClare and Berbatov has been hungry in this game now. That's not supposed to happen, is it? Louis Tomlinson. It's gone down. to his feet and Paul Lahore goes over to say I'm sorry yeah it's just an accident yeah again it's that desire we've got to be outdone with as you say a pop star with a footballer it's a good thing it's not the vocal chorus <laughs> He's going to be able to soldier on Louis Tomlinson. Uh, did he want the ball played to him? Uh, I think so. That's going to disappoint quite a few teenage girls in the stands here at Celtic Park today, I think. He does go off as Pires chests it towards Martin Petrov. Here's Barry. Gareth Barry trying to get it to dip and curl. 
Shotgun Shearer again. Unable to continue. That's a shame. Three credit to for watching come along and playing the game. You know, it's just a shame he has to go. ready to come on. Warren Brown, the actor, former professional Thai boxer.